couple of weeks ago I discovered this box in a thrift store. It is stamped April 1978 and there is the word MINE written all over it. Well dude, it's not anymore, it's mine now. Inside were black and white slides taken in our city around the beginning of May 1978. Uh, now a normal person would look at it and say, nice. A dedicated person would take a smartphone and snap some pictures of the same places. Boring. I'm neither normal nor dedicated. I'm fully crazy. So I ordered black and white slide film and now, in summer of 2019, with the same original technology, I took pictures in those very same locations. This is the Baker Street. At the bottom there is an abbey where in the 19th century the abbot and world-famous scientist Johann Gregor Mendel did his experiments with peas. There he founded the science of genetics and formulated the three laws of biological inheritance. The street is also a place where in 1976 the ground opened up and uh, one brave lady uh, trying to help a man trapped in the sinkhole fell in. She was taken by the stream and disappeared forever. There are some clues, but nobody knows uh, for sure where her body ended up. The underground is mostly undiscovered maze of medieval and later era tunnels. The vegetables market with the baroque fountain Parnas. On the other side of the square there is a museum and uh, right from the large building there is a convent crypt with mummified monks on display. Not the only place to look at corpses in the city centre actually. The old town hall tower. Just few steps from the vegetables market, uh, just follow the tourists. You might have noticed the theme. Most buildings are now in much better condition and there is much more life in the city overall. Ok, let's go inside. The Dragon of Breno. The legend says it was brought in by some crazy aristocrat or maybe by the crusaders and released in the wild. It lived by the river and later was killed by locals who were terrorized by it. They used quicklime wrapped in a sheepskin as a poisoned bait. The town uh, decided to move it from the inner corridor to the outer one, so tourists can see it from the street. This corridor is now 100% dragon free. The outer corridor is infested with dragons, sadly. And this is the courtyard between the corridors, with the entrance to the outer corridor visible on the photo. Now, there was a party tent, theater podium or something in the way when I was taking the pictures, so I had to use different lens and the angles are all wrong, but you can still recognize it. The only remaining city gate built in the 14th century to replace the previous one nearby. It was renovated several times, last renovation started right after this photo was taken, and now the gate is part of the city museum. The ugly thing to the left is an example of how lousy modern architecture is. Seriously, it's a theater, but it looks like a prison. You can see these flags everywhere. Czechoslovakia and our eh, brothers slash occupational forces, the USSR. The flags are prepared for May the 1st celebrations of the Labor Day, the most important festival of the communist ideology. Imagine a gay pride, just mandatory, less crazy outfits and more vodka. In the new picture, you can see the good thing. Red flags are gone and we have trees instead. Trees are useful, they produce oxygen and together with some rope they can be used to solve the problem of commies coming uh, back. The theater. This building is amazingly beautiful on the inside and when built in 1881 was probably the most modern theater in the world. Even one of the first uh, to use electric lights. Plans for it were made by Thomas Alva Edison himself and the power station uh, was brought from New York, installed by Francis Gell, assistant to Mr. Edison. The original wiring is now on display and it is considered a national technical monument. This is the Liberty Square. The thing on the roof is a Zetter company logo. They make tractors and uh, cooperated with John Deere on several projects. Zetter is quite famous in the Middle East. In several countries the word Zetter is used for all tractors. The tower to the left is St. James Church, home of the statue of the devil spreading his bare ass cheeks. And under the church there is an ossuary with 50,000 human remains. The second largest in Europe. It is open to the public, you can visit. This is the same street, just from a different angle. 
picture was taken from a place near where later a weird modern clock was installed, a conical obelisk slowly turning to show the passage of time. It is also known as the statue of the mayor because it looks like a dick. He even allowed activists to cover it in a huge condom-like wrapping uh, for a while to promote safe sex. Still the Liberty Square, note the fashion of the time and the lack of trees. And now look at this. On the photo you can see the Plague Pillar, a monument to remember a 17th century epidemic. And the last but not least, a more modern building, the Law School, for its appearance also known as the Crematorium. I had a hard time finding the correct angle here and the parking uh, tool bo uh, booth was in the way, so... The building is located in a large park. Some say to keep the lawyers in a safe distance from normal people. Okay, that's it. Uh, here is one more photo I took. It's a modern statue called Bravery in front of uh, St. Thomas Church. If you are interested in this manly statue or the mentioned uh, devil spreading his ass cheeks on the gothic church window, stay tuned. I will be posting a video footage from the city taken with 114 year old lens, actual vintage camera lens from the year 1905. And the devil statue will be there, as well as Trabant on a pillar and the red brick church that appeared in the computer game Mafia 2. See you!